So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys some delicious and healthy snack ideas during quarantine. Being home all the time, I've been eating way more than normal and I feel like eating more filling and healthy snacks is a good idea because you won't be having, you won't be hungry as much. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy these awesome snack ideas. So this first snack is really good. You're going to take one banana and slice it into small little slices and then take some nut butter. I just use peanut butter and spread a little bit on each of your banana slices and then this is optional but you can take some chocolate chips and put a little bit on each banana it's really going to add some sweetness to this snack and this is really filling and the flavors are really good together so yeah and obviously fruit is really good for you and it's a good snack so just try some have some fruit and this is something really good you guys can do to apples you're going to take one apple and cut it into these little circles kind of things and then put some peanut butter or nut butter, a little spread on each apple. And then you're going to take some granola and um, sprinkle a little on each apple slice. And these textures go really well and it's just really good flavor. So you guys should definitely try this one out. It is super good and filling and good for you. This next one is not quite as healthy, but it's super good. You're going to take an apple and cut it, put it into little chunks. And this is kind of like an um, apple pie filling. It's really good though. And then once you have those, take about a tablespoon of butter and put it on a pan about on medium heat. And then you're going to spread the butter, melt it, and then add a couple um, sprinkles of brown sugar. And then mix it up. And then you're going to pour your apples in. And then just coat that on, coat it on each of the all the apples, and then let that kind of cook and simmer. And then just make sure to get a little bit of the brown sugar and butter on all of your apple slices. And then put some cinnamon while it starts when it starts to get softer, just a little bit. And then it should start to look kind of like this, your pan, after sitting and moving it around for a little bit. And then while when they're soft enough, just put them in a bowl. And it is seriously super good, guys. You have to try this out. So this next recipe is for a delicious smoothie. And you can use any much fruit, pretty much any fruit. And also, I made this for five people. So if you're making this for yourself, probably obviously do less. So you're going to put about two bananas, one to two bananas, and then some fruit. This is just a frozen fruit blend. It just has like strawberries and raspberries and peaches. So just put a couple handfuls of that in your blender. And then you can add some kefir or yogurt in and not too much of this. And I never use exact measurements. I kind of just eyeball everything. But just some kefir. And then a little more, and then some milk. I just used almond milk, but more of this than the kefir. And then any type of juice, really. And then you can also put almonds in or nuts. Any nut, really. And normally we always put spinach in it, but I totally forgot. So spinach is optional. You can always add that in. And then just give it all a nice, good blend. And then once it's all blended, you can just pour it in your cups. And it is a super good filling healthy smoothie. Okay, this is a really good smoothie and smoothies are really good to make and it's fun to make um, a lot of different flavors and kinds. This next one is for um, simple little fruit salad. Um, you can use any fruit though, but I just chose pears, bananas, and apples. So I just cut the pears up into small little chunks. And then for the banana, I cut in the slices and cut the slices in half. And honestly, these fruits paired really well with each other. And then I just peeled a cutie, and I just cut the cutie slices in half so that they'd be smaller, but it honestly doesn't matter at all. And then once you have all your fruit cut up, you just want to put it in a bowl and kind of layer it so it's even amount of each fruit. And I did up end up having a little extra, so you don't have to do as much. And then add a little drizzle of honey so it's sweeter, and you can also put a nut butter and I didn't because I didn't know how well it would pair with these fruits, but definitely you can try that out. And then just give um, 
mix your honey all up and get it coated on all your fruit and this is super good thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you guys enjoyed and definitely let me know if you guys try out these snacks and how they are and yeah also if you guys have any video suggestions leave them in the comments down below because yeah thank you guys for watching please subscribe and like this video and yeah i hope you guys are all doing well yeah see you guys next time bye